Are you wondering the difference between an engineering technician and a full engineer? Well, in this video, we're talking about all of those things, the type of people that is the right fit for each, and the career options that you will have. All of that coming up. Hey guys, I'm Jake Voorhees from the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. And in this video, I'm guest starring for Brian and 101mentoring.com to give some insight on Vel Tolliver's question, which is, hello there, I am currently taking my diploma in mechanical engineering at a polytechnic institution. Once I graduate, I have the choice of being a technician or I can continue my degree for four years at a university. Should I go to work and earn money or just complete my degree and go to work after four years. Thank you. Great question, Vel. I actually get this all the time. I did a video about community college into engineering or tech schools into engineering. And that's exactly what this question is about. Basically what Vel is looking to do is a two plus two program where you do the first half of your engineering program at a tech school, a trade school, a community college, and then you finish up the second half at a full engineering university where you walk away with that four year degree from an accredited school and you can continue your career as a full engineer. So yes, I do see this question a lot. And first of all, I see a lot of anxiety about even thinking about these types of options. And I wanna smash a couple of those right now. You will not be judged by doing a community college or a polytech two year and then doing a two plus two into a four year school. You will not be judged. Employers do not actually care. As long as you have that full engineering degree, that's what they care about the most. And the second concern I see all the time is students saying, well, how do I know if I'm gonna be the right fit for a real university? I'm a little intimidated. So if you are struggling super hardcore, if you hate your classes, if you really don't like being a student, then going from your polytech or your community college into a full university is yes, going to be a step up, going to be a challenge. You're gonna struggle. So I would encourage that everyone actually do the full two plus two, unless you're somebody who really hates school and you're just eager to get into the workforce and make a little bit of money because it's going to be very rewarding to get your four year engineering degree. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more about that right now. So let's talk about if you were not to go on to the four year university, what that would mean for you and your career, Vel. This means that you will be constrained to only being an engineering technician for the rest of your career. Because unless you have that full engineering degree, you cannot actually call yourself an engineer. You cannot become a professional engineer. Here in America, you are not eligible to sit for the PE, the professional engineering exam. You can't stamp stuff. So that means you cannot actually implement design in your work. You most likely will not be able to be a team leader, a manager. You will not have a corporate future. You will be limited in the amount of salary that you get, the amount of say that you get in the table because you're just not a full engineer. So in terms of the career, you actually have a whole bunch of disadvantages by not continuing on to getting that four-year degree. What you will find though, if you just get the two-year technical degree, that yes, you do two less years of school, you probably have far less debt, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. You're not gonna have the super challenging engineering courses in your first two year of that technical school. You're not gonna have Calc 3, you're not gonna have Thermo, you're not gonna have Dynamics, so yes, it will be easier. But again, there's lots of career disadvantages with doing this, so you have to weigh your options. Now, there's a whole bunch of advantages of doing the two plus two situation in general. You probably saved a bunch of money by not going to the full university for two years. Maybe you can live at home, maybe you can work on the side. Your grades are probably gonna be better in the first two years. You're not gonna have that sort of freshman struggle, that sophomore struggle that a lot of engineers like myself went through. I almost didn't make it through freshman year. I almost didn't make it through sophomore year. So you probably will not see that crazy uphill initial front end challenge. But if you transition after two years into that full university, there is gonna be a learning curve, but it gives you the first two years to sort of figure out how to be a student, figure out time management and work ethic and building relationships with your peers and your professors and things like this. So I think you do have a lot of advantages if you decide to go to that full engineering program. So if you choose to become a technician, if you choose to only do the two years, what that means for your career is you will probably become a drafter. You'll probably be a support technician. You'll do calculations, you'll do estimates, you'll do drawings, you'll do figures and exhibits. You'll probably do data entry, maybe some data analysis, but again, you will never actually be able to participate in design. You'll definitely not be a team leader and you will do the heavy lifting, what they might call grunt work. That's what your career, that's what your future is destined to be. So if you like that sort of stuff, great. If you want 
want to get paid less, if you don't want to be a leader, if you're just eager to work, maybe you just hate, hate, hate being a student, maybe this is for you. But I'm going to highly encourage you guys to continue on and do the two plus two, get that four-year degree. Being an engineer is respectful. It's prestigious. We have an impact on society. You're going to be able to feel good about your career. You're going to be able to make a difference. You're going to be able to design things, make stuff safer, make things more efficient, create scenarios where they can save money. You're going to make more money than average. Engineering is prestigious. There's a reason why we honor doctors and lawyers and engineers is because we do have an impact. We are respected. So there's lots of advantages of just becoming an engineer. And there's even more baked in advantages that you don't realize until you're working, until you see the stuff in the world. But if you have an engineering degree, you can even change careers and it's probably going to be okay because most people know that you're going to be able to figure out whatever you want. You're an engineer. It almost brands you with this stamp of respect. So if you want to go back to grad school, no matter what avenue you choose, you're going to be able to get into those programs. If, again, if you want to switch up your career, you're going to be able to get a job. Even if you leave engineering, you're going to be fine with that engineering degree. Oppositely, with an engineering technician diploma, you're not going to be able to work anywhere. You're not going to have enough respect and authority to just throw your resume around and get picked up by a company. You don't have that option. So, Bill, again, thank you for the awesome question. If you have more concerns or little micro questions within this conversation, please make sure you tell Brian, comment on this video, make sure that we can do a follow up for this so that we answer all of your questions. I hope this video helped you guys delineate if the career options for a two plus two program program or maybe just a two-year technician option is for you. So thanks again, Brian. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing because this channel releases awesome content so you can have a great career. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.